Well, one of the side effects of Superstorm Sandy, it's completely changed some of the political dynamics. Everybody is talking about this newfound and unlikely friendship, I don't know if we would call it praise, that Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey has given President Obama, saying he's done an outstanding job and he's looking forward to the president's visit of New Jersey. Listen. As you all know, I'll be with the president tomorrow. Uh, I'll let the White House handle all the different announcements about where and how and all the rest. Um, but he'll get a good opportunity tomorrow to see uh, firsthand some of the damage that I just talked to all of you about. And so I, I look forward to spending time with the president tomorrow and uh, talking to him about the rebuilding of New Jersey um, and Jersey Shore in particular. Governor Christie talking about some of the devastation in the state, but also today, uh, really President Obama on, will be there to go look at the really, really shore. Maureen Dowd writing this up will show that later. This was a huge deal overnight among the political types away from the devastation. The non-campaigning, campaigning. Yeah, absolutely, Scott. Unlikely alliance, certainly, between those two. Well, there's a lot to get through in the next couple of days. We've got the jobs report on Friday and, of course, the election next week. After that, a string of economic reports, which, according to Kit Jukes of Societe Generale, uh, may become meaningless given Sandy's distortion. He writes, does this increase the risk of uncertainty or just allow the market to be optimistic about the U.S. economy's ability to avoid recession and drive asset prices higher? I suspect the latter, at least temporarily. Remember, today is the last trading day of October that gave the New York Stock Exchange some impetus to open the exchanges for trading. Sure. It could magnify some position squaring by compressing it all into a single day.